And before we get into this video, guys, I just want to announce that at 70k subscribers, I'm actually giving away a SK61 with Gator on yellow switches. So therefore, if you guys want this giveaway, please make sure to subscribe right now. And in today's video, guys, I'm going to show you how you can boost your FPS here in Fortnite Chapter 4, especially since literally so many people have been complaining that they have unstable FPS or FPS drops in general. I'm going to show you the best steps how you can increase the overall performance on your gaming PC here in 2022. So therefore, if you guys enjoyed this video, as mentioned, please don't forget to subscribe. And now let's get straight into this topic. And this first step now, guys, I'm going to show you how you can basically optimize your privacy settings on your Windows so that your Windows 10 PC doesn't send all the data to Microsoft. This is super hardware demanding so therefore make sure to follow all my steps. In the first place just simply type in privacy into your Windows search bar until you can find the privacy settings. Once they open up you can already see here there's a ton of data collections here on your PC running in the background. Let apps use advertising ID to make ads more interesting. Of course we don't want that guys. Don't send our data to Microsoft. But websites provide locally relevant content. We also don't want that. Let Windows tracks app launches to improve start and search results. Show me unsuggested content on settings app, guys. We don't want any of these. You're basically just giving all your data for absolutely free to Microsoft. And all these processes are running 24-7 in the background, which also slows down your PC, obviously, because they're always collecting data. Once we're done with the first one, we go to go under speech, guys. There is as well here online speech recognition. Just simply make sure to turn off as many as possible, guys, of all of these permission settings here, yeah? Especially diagnostics and feedback has to be fully disabled guys then as we go down here guys we also have now app permissions there we have something like location fully disabled my camera and microphone is the only thing guys which i actually have to keep on of course for obs recordings so therefore these are the only three which i can only recommend you to actually leave on guys then we're gonna see something like notifications gotta turn it on account info gotta turn it off then we have contacts turn it off calendar turn it off phone calls and you can already see what i'm doing here guys yeah just somebody make sure to go through this whole entire list and make sure to disable all the data collection services yeah we have something like radio here other devices especially background applications is so important guys yeah let apps run in the background we can see now um that basically something like the calculator camera clock cortana all of these are 24 7 running in the background then app diagnostics also disabled pictures disabled videos disabled and file system guys and once we're done with everything we fully made sure that basically our windows can't collect any data from us and send it to microsoft we just ended like that probably around 25 to 30 processes just in a few seconds guys so therefore you can see how good this actually is to make sure to turn all of these here off and now once we're done with it let's continue with the next step by the way guys real quick huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is banggood if you're searching for cheap affordable budget gaming keyboards or even super high quality custom ones, Banggood got you covered guys. They have a ton of a variety of keycaps on their website, custom cord cables, and basically anything you could need for a gaming setup, mouse pads, you name it guys, Banggood got you covered. The store literally has thousands of articles guys, and they right now even have a Christmas sale going on, so therefore make sure to check it out 100% guys, the links are gonna be in the description of my personal recommendations, which I would recommend you to buy on Banggood. Especially something like a GK61, SK61, you know some of the fastest keyboards out there right now you can find for super cheap on Banggood so therefore make sure to check them out guys and show them some support and with that said let's continue with the video. So guys and I already prepared here for you right now a brand new FPS boost pack especially here for chapter 4 guys which we're going to be using in today's video where you can get your hands onto it on my discord guys just simply discord.gg slash the stripes and then under the FPS boost packs channel which you can by the way also find here on the top just simply type in the FPS boost and you can find the channel from there you can get it guys straight up and once you get it on your PC you're going to extract all the files onto your desktop you're gonna probably need winrar guys and then you have all of these here and i'm gonna guide you through everything step by step to make sure that you get the best performance out of your gaming pc in the first place we're going to take a look at fps boost registry tweaks guys and in there we have a ton of registry tweaks which can overall give you better performance on your gaming pc and make sure that your pc is running at its best performance we have something like wake up course let's just say as an example that we're going to take a look at our cpu you would see right now that you have maybe like something like 6 8 16 or even 24 cores really depending on your pc specs and some of these might be parked due to windows due to windows power saving modes so therefore what as an example this one here does wake up all cores is that all your like part cores which are right now not activated are gonna get waken up so therefore guys just simply click onto it then you're gonna click onto yes here onto registry you probably can't see it right now because of obs you know it can't like capture like these permission windows but you guys get what i'm saying so therefore make sure that you apply all of these registry tweaks guys for the best possible performance and then we're already done here with the first one then we're gonna go onto delete junk files guys 
and there we have no two bad files on which we're going to click here delete log files and you can see all the temporary data on your pc are gonna get completely deleted guys yeah then we're gonna close this here basically we're already done with the first one and now as well deleting all the temporary files yeah you can see it's already done it's only gonna take a few seconds and now we basically deleted all the temporary files on our pc which could be somehow corrupted or slowing it down or whatsoever so therefore that's super super convenient and as a third one guys now we have run with affinity we're going to launch the program here real quick on our pc and you're probably asking yourself okay what does it do well let me explain it guys let's just say now that we're going to click here onto select program we're going to go onto it go here then onto our pc local disk c then program files and we basically have to find our fortnite game which is going to be under epic games then fortnite fortnite game binaries windows 64 and there we now have fortnite client windows 64 shipping this is the one guys which you have to select 100 and then you can see we can select affinity and my cpu right now has 24 cores and 32 threads for you it might be something like four cores and eight threads 16 cores 32 threads something like that but what you guys want to do is make sure to select the maximum amount of threads guys yeah which is here for me 32 as mentioned this is my maximum and what i'm then going to do is go here as well onto run and put it onto maximize now i'm going to create a shortcut and you can see now shortcut has been created successfully and every time you launch for Fortnite now over this shortcut it's basically going to tell your cpu to focus all 32 threads around this program so therefore if i'm now running fortnite it's going to get focused by my cpu therefore giving me better performance and more stable fps in the long run and then we of course also going to apply the xander bats tweets guys which basically are like an all-rounder which disables like unnecessarily processes in the background huge shout out to xander bats for creating this one this is amazing guys you again just simply going to click onto it click onto yes and then you get it already applied on your pc and a ton of unnecessary processes are gonna get disabled and as a final step now guys we're gonna go again here into a windows search bar and just simply type in that performance until we can find adjust appearance and performance of windows and once we're in here you can already see here minus right now selected for just for best appearance which means i have all the fancy animations especially while opening up here something like my windows search bar you can see this smooth animation but what we actually want to do is go for just best performance guys and the only thing which i can really recommend you to leave on show thumbnails and set of icons because if you do that you can see let's just say like video previews yeah it's super annoying but for the rest we don't really have to care about anything like that so therefore what you're going to do is adjust it for best performance and just simply select show thumbnails instead of icons and you're chilling guys trust me the visual downgrade of windows is going to improve your performance so much because yeah basically all these like unnecessary animations in the background are gone completely windows are not going to be like transparent anymore and overall your windows is just going to look a lot less fancy but still provide you with way better performance and just simply click on to apply and we're already done here after playing all of these steps guys all you got to do is reset at your pc and enjoy having a lot better performance let me know if you still have any more issues guys down in the comment section below so i can help as many people as possible and also don't forget to join the discord guys for over 86 000 active members so therefore if you join there you're 100 gonna get some support guys and also let me know down in the comment section below what other videos you guys want to see and what you're interested in and with that said have a great day